Swinburne University of Technology. So my name's Grenville Armitage and I'm Professor of Telecommunications Engineering here at Swinburne University of Technology. I'm actually Director of the Centre for Advanced Internet Architectures, or KIA. The particular type of research that we're doing at KIA really is focused on the engineering of the internet the underlying protocols, essentially the, the, the guts of the internet of how, how things work, what makes your web browsing experience, for example, good or bad from one instant to the next. Uh, a lot of that could be, you know, your PC. Okay, we can't affect that. But a lot of that is also the mathematical algorithms that govern the way the computer interacts with your local gateway, with how your gateway interacts with your ISP, how your ISPs and networks interact with the other networks around the world. So one of the other areas that we have going on in the group, and this is actually led by one of my colleagues, Associate Professor Lachlan Andrew, is what we call our, our green project or our energy efficient networking. The internet itself and all the infrastructure associated with the internet provision of internet services is a phenomenal consumer of energy. It's changed society in ways we can't imagine, but it's also consuming a lot of energy and there's still a lot of engineering that could be done to reduce the energy consumption of all of our infrastructure associated with the internet. And so we've got uh, people working on issues to do with scheduling of CPUs inside data centers, scheduling of energy consuming parts of home routers and gateways and switches to try and figure out ways in which these devices might, for example, sleep for microseconds or sleep for really tiny fractions of a second when they're not being used. And this all builds up. We save energy this way. But of course, you turn things off, performance drops off. So we don't want people thinking the internet is slowing down just because we're trying to save energy. And there are some engineering challenges there. We also do work in network resilience. We have uh, research on network security, the backbone uh, routing protocols known as BGP. So we have another research area uh, that's been led by my colleague, Associate Professor Hai Vu, uh, in, our, in our mobile space, uh, mostly looking at Wi-Fi technologies and Wi-Fi-like short-haul wireless technologies. And one of the specific areas that he's been focusing in is intelligent transport systems. And it's information about traffic flows that have been propagated vehicle to vehicle, or even to vehicle to infrastructure, which is cars talking to the sides of the road, uh, will allow for much better control and much better awareness of the flow of traffic in metropolitan areas. So I think one of the selling points about doing a PhD at Cairo is the fact that our academic staff combine uh, expertise in empirical work, which is experimental work, actually going out and making measurements of systems. We might build test beds in the lab uh, and analytical, which is you know applying mathematical tools and principles and statistical principles to modeling and emulating network systems that may be far larger than you can actually build in the lab. So we do a blend of both. And we've actually found that to be quite attractive to our industry partners. We've had uh, industry funding along the way that uh, comes from people who've subsequently praised the fact that we've built actual code, we've, we've released software to improve the operation, for example, of the transport control protocol, or TCP, in uh, an open source environment. And we also get quite a lot of positive feedback in terms of people collaborating with us in academia around the world for the analytical work that is done by some of the other academic staff. And as a team environment, this produces an excellent place for PhD students to explore both analytical and empirical research. This has been a Swinburne production.